I'm Josh, and today we're going to put together a beat on the pocket operator and make it extra lo-fi using this. To start with, I'll run down what we'll be using for this beat and pop links down in the description. I grabbed a tiny bit of an acapella rendition of Easy by the Commodores. That's why, that's why I'm easy. And I got some drums from a video by Luis Houses called Free Lo-Fi Slash Hip Hop Drum Kit for PO33. Got that down here. And as an aside, this kit is a ton of fun, really awesome. It'll probably be showing up in later videos. The core of this beat is taken from the beginning of a song called Resolution by, and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the artist's name right, Anri. I think I found it when I googled Japanese songs to make vaporwave from. Now, the PO33 has a neat trick for sample slicing. Normally when you record into one of the drum channels down here, the pocket operator will look for the transients in the volume and automatically slice up drum sample. But if you take a sample from one of the melodic channels up here and copy it into a drum channel, oops. The PO33 doesn't look for transients, instead it just slices it up into 16 equal pieces. That means that if you trim a sample to 8 beats, like I'm going to do with the sample from the song Resolution, and you copy it down into the drum channels, when they're sliced up into the 16 equal pieces, each pad on the drum channel will have about half a beat of the sample. So to start with, I'm going to hit FX until it says Trim, and turn this knob until we've got about an 8-beat sample. All right, so there we go, 8 beats. Next, I'm going to copy by holding down sound and write, and then I'm going to tap 15, and now it's copied that sound into channel 15. So like I said, now it's sliced up into 16 equal pieces. So if I start hitting these pads, you can hear that it's just playing a little bit of it. It might sound a little bit different in the melodic channel. It was pitched down. I'll try to match the pitch as closely as I can. Boop, boop. All right, so that's got it pretty close. But anyway, as you can hear, now, if I tap these pads, all of a sudden, I have all those little bits sliced up. The nice thing about this is that now, if I start reorganizing those slices, I can use the sample to craft a new melody while keeping things kind of rhythmically consistent. So this is how the sample originally sounded. And for this beat, here's how I'm going to reorder it. <laughs> so for the drums, I made a pretty simple pattern with the kick and the snare. And then I just added this shaker sound in between, you know, on every 16th note in between the kick and the snares. So it'll sound a little bit like. <laughs> As a disclaimer, my finger drumming skills are pretty weak. So with all that said, let's just take a listen to how the beat sounds coming off of the pocket operator. pocket operator already has a bit of a lo-fi feel to it, but that's not lo-fi enough for us. So that's where 
the Pearl Quarter J300 comes in. It uses whoop, whoop, these cute little mini cassettes. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the audio output from the pocket operator whoops, into the tape recorder, try to capture some of that kind of audio grime that comes with something like little tiny cassettes. This might seem like a bit of an extreme way to add a lo-fi feeling to a beat, but I figured, hey, might as well go all in. So I'm not going to make you sit through the part where I actually record it onto the tape recorder. So we'll just jump into the future where it's already on there so you can hear it. Um, but if you like this video, please remember, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, remember to subscribe. And if you liked the beat that I made, either the one coming out of the pocket operator or the one coming out of the tape recorder, I'll put SoundCloud links down in the description so you can go and download them. Uh, and thank you again for watching. Anyway, music time. Thank you.